Hey, I'm CJ and today we're reviewing the Mendy headset. This review is not sponsored. Mendy received the full retail price for this device. All right, so happy birthday to me. I received this as a birthday gift from my sweetheart. Went a little something like this. It's made in Sweden. So I had no idea what the Mendy was. Then I saw my favorite word, neurofeedback. Neurofeedback teaches you to influence, if not outright control your brain function, typically by measuring brain waves and then providing some kind of feedback signal. So I've actually done this in real life. Some years back, I would go into downtown San Francisco, visit the neurologist's office. They'd put electrodes all over my head and then I'd wear noise canceling headphones. And into the headphones, they would pipe in a sort of soundscape. And so what I can never really tell consciously was that within that soundscape were dissonant sounds. As my brain moved towards brainwaves that were preferable, things that were like calmer, less anxiety type of brainwaves, then those dissonant tones would become more congruent. And all this was happening under the hood. The way the neurologist explained it to me, it's like riding a bike. You're forever correcting a little bit back and forth, back and forth to maintain your balance. But to you, you're just riding a bike. So I understand neurofeedback, at least in that sense, to work the same way. It's working a little bit under the hood. I'm not really trying to do anything, but as my brain goes in the right direction, the kind of brain waves we want to see, then it is rewarded. The first time I ever did it was completely amazing. Relaxed, not just my brain, but also my body. Afterwards, I looked in the mirror and my face looked different. I could tell I had much less stress. So seeing neurofeedback on the Mendy, I'm so excited for this. So here's how Mendy works. Typically neurofeedback devices use EEGs to read your brain waves. The Mendy, on the other hand, uses FNIRS, Functional Near Infrared Spectroscopy. In other words, they use light to measure blood flow and oxygen. Two things which change depending on your neural activation. All of that is just the headband. While you're wearing the headband, you follow along with an app that's showing you an interpretation of your brain waves as the device is measuring them. And so according to their website, Mendy should help me control my mood, increase my focus, and improve sleep. The recommendation is three times a week for six to eight weeks to see results. So let's check them out. Pretty standard fare. We have the box, quick start instructions, instructions, power cord, and some stickers. The first real challenge was getting the headband to fit. This took an absurd amount of times, but hey, I guess you only really have to do it once. <laughs> Okay, so the truth is that I just tried it right out of the box without reading any instructions. First of all, impressed that it connected right away. <laughs> Looking at you, Muse2 headset. I'll put a link to that over here for the worst experience I've had with the device in the last year. So the Mendy connects and I am off to the races. Watching the screen immediately, I don't know what to do. I assume this is when I'm doing well, is when I see the stars that populate. I will say kudos to whoever designed this app. The music is very chill and just the design, the ball rolling, the background. I love all of it. I love the way it looks. I like the way it feels. It's all very relaxing. Past experience tells me I should just watch the screen and not try to think about it too much. Mm. Well. Those are certainly not the kind of grades I got in school. So being the overachiever I am, I tried this again right away, this time focusing really hard on trying to move the ball up and to the right. Yeah, so that's not it either. As far as instruction, Mendy pretty much just tells me to focus on the ball, have the intention of moving it up and to the right, but also to relax and not go overboard on trying to force it a certain way. So let's see how we do montage coming up of the following weeks. In the very first week, I saw progress and I got my score into the 70s. As far as using the app, the thing I kept coming back to is how predictable my mind was. I'd get emotionally attached to the ball when it went up and to the right and I was doing well, and then I'd feel a little bit of frustration or sadness when it went down. And as I kept going, I was able to let go of this more and more, and that is what really felt like progress. By week four, I got my scores consistently in the 80s, and week five, I saw my first 90s, so an A for this girl. And here's where it all goes wrong. Put on the headset, I sync it up, it calibrates, and then all of a sudden it kicks me out of the app. This happens again and again and again. And I update the app, same thing happens. So I write into their customer support team and this is the message I got back. We'll flag this issue for our development team and immediately get back to you when I have their input. I have built support teams at Silicon Valley startups and unicorns. When I see something like this, it pretty much says, we don't know what it is. We don't know how to fix it. This is going into some backlog. Good luck. But I don't want to be negative, so I let it go for a week. Yeah, and nobody got back to me. So at this point, realizing that this device is still new, it's still under warranty, I write back. 
response. It's like, ah, it'll be fine in a week, try again later. I wouldn't say this is boosting my confidence in the product. Fast forward a week, I try the headset again. It doesn't work. Uninstall, reinstall, and I'm actually back in business. All right, so let's compare our results to the claim. Was I able to control my mood, increase my focus, and or improve my sleep? So mood. Now on week three, I had this moment where I noticed I was much more aware of my thoughts than what's normal. And this is exactly what happens when I'm really showing up for some kind of a meditation practice. Granted, during the Mendy experiment, I maybe meditated once or twice. I did not have any kind of routine meditation practice, yet I was getting those kind of results, which is great. Anytime I'm more aware of my thoughts, my mood is better and my anxiety is usually a lot lower. And focus. Did the Mendy improve my focus? Well, I will say this. So every month I print myself out a paper sheet of all of my tasks and then check off whether or not I did them. And I do this every month just to keep track of things and try to reach my goals. And I will say the month that the Mendy covered was my most productive month to date this year. Now that said, do I want to say that Mendy is behind that? I don't know that I'm ready to claim that. I might just be getting better at habits. So was it because of Mendy? Maybe, hard to say and sleep. With the Mendy, did my sleep improve? To be fair, I'm a good sleeper anyway. I fall asleep, I stay asleep, I don't wake up in the middle of the night. So I can't say I noticed any change at all in regards to sleep. Maybe if I had a harder time with sleep, I would have noticed a difference. So overall, I do like the device. I think everything they say about controlling your mood is spot on. My anxiety became much lower over the weeks of using this product. However, Having the headset dip out for two weeks leaves me a little concerned. Ultimately, a quarter of the time that I spent using the Mendy and documenting it, I could not actually use the device. So will I continue using the device? Yes, I actually really like it. Do I have faith it will continue working? All right, y'all, if you tried the Mendy headset, let me know what you think. It was cool hanging out with y'all. I'll see you next time. I'll miss you, I love you, bye.